What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be an exciting day. We're going on a field trip to pick up channel cars. Got a line on a place down in central Kentucky that has classic Mopars and they are for sale. We're going to see what we can end up with, what we can bring home. And as you can see, we've got the trailer hooked to the truck. It's always a good day when you're doing that. So let's go see what we can get i'm gonna take you guys along for the ride hang tight all right guys i made it down here to central kentucky to look at some cars like i said a few seconds ago and unlike most of these car videos you see on the internet today where they're not selling anything or they're just either going to hold on to them whatever where i'm at today everything is for sale i will put a link in the description to below with the seller's information and you can reach out to them and pick out any or all these cars that you want i have mine already picked out so i'm going to keep it undercover for now and we're going to do a separate video on it but for now i'll go ahead and get you get started this is going to be really cool so first things first is this whole flatbed truck is for sale take you around old international Got a really nice steel bed and it would need to be replaced obviously but other than that tires look good got a lift gate super clean frame looks good exhaust looks good Let's see what the inside looks like Super clean old rig. Automatic even. But if you're interested in this, just look down to the link in the description, reach out to them and uh, see what they want to do with it. Got a little Jeep here for sale. Looks like it needs a little bit of work done, but other than that, the body is super straight. Again, with this one, uh, get down in the link in the description. Reach out to the owners, they'll give you a price for it. I do have a price on a lot of these vehicles here. Some of them I do not yet. But again, reach out to them. This one is for sale. Then over here, we got a 48. Chrysler New Yorker suicide doors and absolutely all of the trim is still here and this car runs and drives very cool it don't get much better than this boys and girls this is beautiful Interior needs some work, obviously, but for going on an 80 year old car, I mean, you can't beat it. Doors all work. Showing 10,000 miles on the odometer. I doubt that's right. I don't know. Maybe. Not really for sure. Let's see what we got under the hood here. Oh my lord. Car does run and drive. Look at that radiator. Good night. So this car is $2,500 as it sits. Unfortunately, it does not have a title. But any of you Mopar people or classic car people, that's what we lean on the state of Vermont for. So it shouldn't be a problem. All right, we have this 300 parts car sitting here and it actually goes to 
a super nice 300 match to it. It's over there in the barn and I'll show you that here shortly. So do remember this. But uh, again, this is just the parts cart and it goes with another cart that's in the barn. So we'll give that to that here in a minute. And then we have this square body custom deluxe quad cab or crew cab. The super, super nice bed that actually works, believe it or not. It's got the heavy duty axles, front and rear. Interior, for the most part, is pretty straight. I mean, for what they're asking for this, you're not buying the bed and axles for, now let alone the, the new motor. Let's see how many miles this old girl's got. Uh, roughly 153,000 or maybe 253,000. I'm not really for sure. A clean old truck. Bonus cab. But anyway, this truck, as it sits with the new motor, they're wanting $5,000 for. Again, you know, if you need to contact them, look down in the description. Now I've got a super treat for you. 1957 International box truck. Or panel van, however you want to. It's an A110. Here's the current condition of the motor. Of that motor, but in the back is a, another motor for the truck. Which is right in there. And I'll show you that here in a second. My understanding that that motor engine does run. But there is literally no rust to speak of on this old panel truck. Here's now another rear end for the truck. There's the good motor. I mean, look at the floor in here. I mean, it is just legit. Everything is there. Super clean old rig. Now this one, as it sits, is 10,000 firm. 10,000 bucks takes it, and it has a title. And, and that's worth every penny and then some, and y'all know it. That's, that's crazy cheap. All right, I'm gonna walk you back here in the field around the barn they have some additional stuff back here that's for sale it's a big old place people big old place wait till you see what's in the barn it's just beautiful country out here beautiful country gotta love kentucky all right they've got a tractor barn out back here that's some stuff for sale They've got this old economy tractor, or I'm sorry, tractor for sale that I believe, reach out to the seller, I can't remember the price right offhand, but it's all of this, the tires, the extra parts, and there's five implements over there that go with that if you're wanting to finish it. And then this beauty is also for sale sitting back here in the barn. Super, super clean car. I do not have a price on that one, but it is for sale. If you're interested, again, reach out to the seller. We also have a farm wall tractor over here that is for sale. She said it ran last year. They haven't pulled it this year much. But this here is $1,000 as it sits. An old farm wall. Super H. Super clean tractor. Tires got a little bit of drywall, but overall they're good. No big tread sections missing or anything like that. It's 
super clean tractor. Come get it, thousand bucks. I mean, you can't beat that. All right, they got a big field back here full of cars. And quite a few of these are for sale. If you see something in the video that I didn't mention, make sure to reach out to them and they can price you whatever you're interested in back here. Oh, of all days to wear shorts. Ah, jiggers and ticks, jiggers and ticks. I mean, got a little bit of everything back here. Got an old BW. Look at that beauty. Beautiful truck. Another flatbed. Another farm mall tractor. And a couple boats, a few boats. Old Ram Charger. And that is super straight. Man, there is no rust on that whatsoever. When was the last time you seen a Ram Charger with no rust? Hundred and seven thousand miles. And that's clean. And a couple foreign cars here. I think those are Mitsubishi's. Got an old Dodge van. Old sportsman. That's pretty cool. Got the big Dodge letters, that's awesome. All right, what we got up here. Now, if you see anything here, guys, make sure to reach out to them. I'm not sure exactly what the price is on everything, but there's a bunch out here. On a 2500 Dodge. Look at that beautiful. Old New Yorker. Old Valiant. Another Dodge pickup truck. And old Grand Torino. Wow. Super nice. I'm telling you guys. Super nice people here. I met them out freestyling one day, just looking around. We was going out to dinner with my in-laws and they had a car for sale down by the road. I stopped and looked at it. Struck up a conversation, just being polite and having manners like you should in this world. And they showed me a couple other cars and a couple other cars. And before you know it, we bought some and trying to help them liquidate the others an eight foot tall grass got a cab back here very cool if you're interested in the cab reach out to them that might be for sale we've got some others back there but i do not have permission to show those so we'll move up to the barn and show you what's up there this is a cool place back here very cool all right, let's walk up to the barn, hang tight, and I'll get back with you here in a second. All right, here's some parts to the 300. The good 300 is to the barn. I'll show you that here in a second, but I'll go ahead and show it to you now. This is the car that goes with that parts car over there that I showed you a few minutes ago. 
but this is the beautiful 62 300 that's in the barn couple perfect examples of a good restorable car guys but for this one that's in the barn that does run and drive and the one that's sitting out there in the field as a parts car they're asking ten thousand dollars for both which i think is super super fair so again look down in the description for their contact information and reach out to them about it i'll have her she's going to go ahead and open the hood and i'll show you the engine compartment real quick No, you're good. 413. Look at that. Don't get much better than that, boys and girls. 413. Super clean. This was a factory tunnel ram car, but we didn't get that. Okay. She said it's a factory tunnel ram car. But not a uh, sketch of rust on the car anywhere. Anywhere. Beautiful paint job. When y'all need to come get these cars, do something with them. And then we've got a Valiant over here. It's for sale. I'm going to take you and show you that. It does run and drive. She said it has some issues once you get to about 30 miles per hour. Quits pulling. But uh, just quits pulling, which is fine for any of you out there. That's not going to be that big a deal to fix. But a super straight survivor car. I mean, you're not gonna beat this with a stick. Factory paint, super clean. No rust. Interior is partially redone. She said the interior has been partially redone. And you can tell, beautiful car. Killer stereo. <laughs> <laughs> she said it's got a killer stereo in it, which is awesome. <laughs> I believe the asking price on this car is $6,500, which is an absolute steal. 104,000 miles. She said it's got 104,000 original miles. Original motor. Original motor, and look how clean that is. Push button train. She says it does have a push button transmission that works. All right, guys, I believe that's going to be it for now as far as the cars out here for sale. But again, reach out to the owners. Uh, let them know what you're interested in out here. Only serious people only. Do not waste these people's time. They're being super nice letting us make this video. Unlike a lot of people out there say it's not for sale, it's not for sale. These are for sale. Do not jack these people around. We need to quit doing that crap to people. So if you're a serious buyer, reach out to Cindy and Daniel and let them know uh, what it is you'd like to take out of here if you'd just like to take it all. But uh, that's gonna be the end for this portion. What we bought is right there on the trailer. I'm not gonna show that to you right now because we're gonna do an own separate video on that car. But I promise you, you're gonna flip your wig when you see what's underneath there. Holy grail car, holy grail. Here, I'll give you a hint. It's a convertible. It's not a hardtop car. So again, all of this is for sale. All of it. So make sure to reach out to these people if you're interested. And I'll catch you next time. Alright guys, she's also got this for sale. A 2009 Honda. It's like a scooter. That'd be awesome for like a pit bike at the track or whatever. But it's got 195 miles. Perfect little scooter. But anyway, she wants $2,000 for this, which is more than fair for being actually brand new, to be honest with you. But again, the information is down in the description or scrolling across the bottom of the video. Make sure you reach out to them. But super awesome. It's like brand new.